Hi there, I'm Slava and this is Kitchen Garden Therapy. Today I would like to take you along with me while I'm harvesting the rest of my peppers and other veggies in my garden. It's November now, which means the end of the season. We're getting our first frost, which means that I really need to pick everything that's still there. This is my front yard garden and as you can see I have some peppers in pots along with chrysanthemums that are still blooming. Also my dahlias are gorgeous here. I like this purple color. It matches with my purple lilac peppers. There is a ton of peperoncinis that are turning red by now. I like to let my peppers hang in there until the first frost because that gives them opportunity to ripen. Now let's go to my backyard where I have still a few peppers to pick. There are serrano peppers that are turning red and also this pepper that I was growing for the first time this year and I fell in love with it. It's called ahi charapita, known as most expensive pepper in the world. I'll post the link to the video I made about it. It's an amazing pepper. My Swiss chard is doing great. It loves the cool nights and mornings here in Chicago. I am not planning to pull it out because Swiss chard loves cold and I'll be able to enjoy it even though we will have our first frost now. Same as this arugula here. Arugula is also cool tolerant vegetable so I'm going to let it stay in my garden and in those warm spells that we might have in the winter between the frosts, I am going to come here and harvest as needed. Same as over here on the other garden bed, I have some bok choy or tatsoi, I don't remember what this is, I always mix them up. I also have some beets and carrots. I am not going to harvest them until the first frost because they become even sweeter and better. This is, by the way, uh, mustard spinach and it bolted, as you can see, it is blooming right now. But that's okay, it's still edible. Now let's get to this beautiful pepper called Black Pearl together with the tiny yellow one called Ahi Charapida. Black Pearl is another favorite. I love these two and I am planning to always have them in my garden. They look great, they taste awesome and produce a lot. So Black Pearl, highly recommend. There are some banana peppers here as well. You can see they have ripened and are this gorgeous orangey red color. There is also some pepperoncinis and if you look more careful, I have an eggplant in here too. And this is not traditional purple eggplant, but the new variety that I have tried this year, it's a red variety of eggplant. It is round, looks almost like a tomato, and I've made a video about it, so I'll post the link in the description below if you would like to learn about it more. I am pleased with this variety and I'm planning to grow it again. I'm just going to harvest one of my beets so I can make a salad, but the rest of my beets and carrots are going to stay until I need them. 
So look at all of these peppers I had harvested. A bowl of ahi charapida with three Carolina Reaper peppers, which are the hottest, by the way. A bowl of black pearl, a bowl of banana peppers, pepperoncinis, bell peppers, and others. So I have to make sure I preserve all of this bounty for later use. So let me share with you what I decided to make with all of these beauties. I will share with you the link to the recipe I've used in the description box below, but this is what I did. I chopped my bell peppers with addition of few chocolate peppers for flavor. I also minced my black pearl hot peppers in the blender, added some sugar and pectin, and cooked it, preserved it according to the instructions, and here I have it. This jelly is delicious with some cream cheese or other type of cheese on a cracker. I also made some cowboy candy, also known as candied pepper. And I used all of my serrano peppers for this recipe. I had most of it red, but some of them still green. I mixed them up, chopped them, and cooked them according to the recipe. Delicious! Another thing I did was pepper relish. So I've used all of my remaining bell peppers and banana peppers. I used my food processor to chop it really tiny and small because for a relish you do not want large pieces. I also added some onion because any relish is just better with onion. Again, I will post the links to all of the recipes I have used in the description box below. And I had some leftover pepperoncini peppers, so I decided just to pickle them whole the way I did it before. A couple months ago, I already pickled a bunch of peppers from my garden, and I have shared with you the recipe here on the channel, so you can find it. I think it's called How to Pickle Any Pepper. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. How is your garden doing in November? Please let me know in the comments below.